the chocolate. I was there because you were there. And I was there because he was there. So <laughs> chicken and the egg. All hell, all hell, Roman Gonzalez. Yeah, all hell. And Straight up. up. And you know what? I was sitting there, excuse me, yeah, but because yeah. you're the, the, I was sitting there like, oh, he's good. This guy is a. <laughs> And you know what part of me was surgical. You know I'm surgical, surgical. with this Jake. Surgical. Yeah. Like, you know I'm surgical, surgical with this Jake. Here yeah. you go. That's all it was. Part, That's all it was. The OG was in the ring. And part of me was, I, I just love, I mean, to see him fight live, if you've never done it, I don't know how much longer he's going to fight, do it. Because it, it's a- Talk to them. Yeah, it's a sight to see. <laughs> you see that guy fight live, it's a beautiful thing. But part of me, outside of just enjoying it, was just, I just kept looking over at Zytella. You stupid idiot. <laughs> I didn't pick stupid, against stupid him. Idiot. I didn't pick anybody. But you hinted towards that. Oh, yeah. So Leo Cesar Martinez got the faster hands. No, he doesn't. He's got the youth. No, he did have faster hands. Did he have faster hands? After the, after so. the sixth was, round, I looked at Carson. I said, yo, why was everybody picking this other guy to win? Like, and I said, the only guy who did was Zytel. Yeah. And I, I, didn't, I, said, I didn't pick him to win. I said, I said, okay, well, not pick him to win, but he's Why like, did they think uh, he, was gonna give him he was a favorite or something, right? Because Martinez still is an excellent fighter. Yeah, that was a very good and, fighter against a legendary at, and fighter. And that, that's all it is. Yeah. That's oh, all, that, that, is that what that was? Yeah. All, that's Martinez okay. is good. Yeah. Dang. He's good. I, I think, Dang. I mean, he's good. No matter if he's a, if he's a 15, wherever he's at, he is a great fighter. That was my only, that was my takeaway of the whole fight. He's a good fighter. Cool. You're going against the guy. I think he might be a, a pretty like, good fighter. Not even just a yeah, a, a good. Fighter, I agree. You know, like especially he, depending on who he's he, fighting. Also, his chin is unbelievable. Right. Yeah. But, but you watch that was an absolute clinic. Clinic. Everything. Because I, I was sitting there, and I said, "What? What did? He, what did Julio Cesar Martinez do better than Chocolate Zito in that fight? N absolutely nothing. Nothing. Throw combinations against the gloves. Yeah. He. He. If you. If there was an award for hitting gloves. Martinez got it. Shout and out some of them were getting in, but yeah, most of them were of being course. blocked. Yeah. But yeah, he, Chocolatito is just, he is, yeah, you talk about surgical. He was, he was surgical with the whoop ass. I'll well, tell it, you what, I'll tell you what, because he's, he's not, there's nothing complex coming from um, Chocolatito. He's not going to, Hit you with a bunch of pivots. He's not gonna use the whole ring. He's not gonna stand in front of you and slip, slip. He's not even gonna stand in front of you doing either. He's gonna stand in front of you like this. He's gonna punch on time. I'm, I'm hyped. Yeah, I he's gonna, tell he's gonna punch on time. Yeah. he's gonna throw the right punch and he's gonna be accurate as. Oh. Yeah, I was like, hey, I'm like, all right, it's Chocolatito. I've yeah. seen him fight. I've yeah, seen yeah. him fight live. All that. He's great. He's a he's a small guy and he's one of the greatest small guys ever. to ever do it. But last night I saw how great he he yeah. actually is. I, I I didn't know. I I until. said last night he is the definition of he knows his job. Yeah, yeah every yeah. round. Yeah, he's like ding. Yeah, three minutes. Got to yeah. go do work. Well, he and he's he gonna let, be on you. For he three let rounds. Martinez get off for the first minute, first minute and a half, and just stay on top of him. And you could feel in the second half of the round it was like any minute now. Gonzalez is going to start his attack and bust him up. And every time he did. It was like the first round, you you saw the experience. And it's like, for me, it was like, okay, I see what your your game plan slash what you want to do. I see that yeah. you want to kind of to not really, not even bit. really pace yourself. Or I don't even think it was so much him wearing, him allowing Marte, Martinez to wear himself out so much as it was him just understanding the clock. And like you say, when I clock in, when I start to work, I'm going to continue to work until the bell rings. Yeah. And to see that from his side, and then I don't know. If, I don't think there were any mis any adjustments. Not in the ring, maybe in no, the corner. No. There were no in ring adjustments coming from Martinez. What could he, he have, actually? What could he have done? What like, could he have done? He could have fainted. He could have. He could have made. The only thing he was gonna faint was passing out. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a couple times uh, in the second half. He tried to walk Chocolatito into shots. Yeah, he he did that with the left. He did. Yeah, he yeah, did. He did. Yeah, but he did. But it, I mean, usually when you think of getting taken to school, it's counter punching and a guy getting his ears boxed off. He took him to like violent school. He took him to infighting school. And what what I was saying is what I'm used to is just like me on the outside of the ring. OK, I know what you want to do on the inside of the ring. I'm like, OK, I know what you want to do. And let me stop you from doing that. or Let me do something different. And I've seen that so many times where the complexion of a fight changes because that guy figures out what the other guy wants to do and then it just becomes this thing. And it was like, you, you're not gonna figure this out, Martinez. And then you could see that the, the glove 
punching and yeah. the frustration set in. And at that point, I was like, okay, this fight's not going to change. Let's start heading towards the door. I wasn't going for it. <laughs> it I happening. saw what happened in the Estrada fight. I wasn't. I needed to hear every three judge scorecard. I said, you read it. Right. I need to hear it. And then I was like, oh. Right. I told Carson, I said, listen. The second I heard the last scorecard, I said, oh. We're good. I said, go. I said, if the judges get it wrong, there's nothing you can do about it, man. Let's roll. I might have, you might have, I might have stormed the ring. He's like, like, by God, is that Carson Burke's music? I'm gonna stay here until the last. Yeah. I sat there exactly like that too. Yeah, yeah. My arms crossed. <laughs> I was like, you get this right. You get this right, damn it. <laughs> but it, he was Jedi mind tricking all yeah. the judges. <laughs> What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's all right. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way. <laughs> <laughs>